Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. We have designed a sample HTML file and also we have made some CSS styles also. We have written some CSS styles also. Now it's time for us to learn one by one about the DOM methods, the accessing of these DOM elements by using the document methods. We have seen these four types of document methods, right? get element by id get element by class name tag name query selector and also the query selector all in this video we will learn first about the get element by id so the get element by id means <coughs> it is one of the document method it is present in the document method and if you use document dot get element by id means it will return the element which is having that id so the given id so whatever the id you are trying to give that given id if it is present means that element it will retrieve it let's try to see some example here we are having a div element with id is equal to header now i want to access this element using the get element by id normally we can access this element using document dot body dot children like that we can do it right but we want to access that particular element using the methods that are available so let's try to see so right now I am trying to use it in only the console so that we can have a clear understanding. I am opening the console log here in the inspect element. Now this is the element which I want to access it. So this one is the div which is having an idea of header. So if you don't know, if you don't know the element, you are not able to find it means. So in the expert in the inspect element at the left side corner, you'll be able to see the arrow icon. You can click on this one and you can over here you can able to get the id by id is equal to header if you go here and if you hover it here let's go and let's click on this one and see here you will be able to see div id is equal to header so div hash header you will be able to see div hash header and some of the properties it is having you are able to see it so that means that is a div element which is having an idea of header so let's try to access that one using get element by id for accessing that one what is that you need to do so this is the document so document dot get element by id of header we need to give the id name so you should not give any hash or anything like that why because we are specifically mentioning that we are accessing the element which is having an idea of header so now when i try to press enter here we are able to get an element so that element if you hover it here you will be able to see the selection so that is the element which we have selected it through the document dot get element by id of header let's try to save it in one variable let header is equal to document dot get element by id of header so when i press enter so now the data everything the element whatever the return value for that one is there it is saved in the header variable so if i try to pre uh, and press enter see the same element i am able to access it now we are able to get this one so what is the use of this one by getting this one is so we can manipulate this html for example if i want to change the background color for that element is header dot style dot background color so i can get this background color is equal to red so i can add like this and press enter see here the element has been changed to red color if i want to change the text color for this one means i can change header dot style dot color is equal to white so now we have changed it to white so like this we can change the properties so now you have may be having a doubt that where, where did i found these all the properties if i try to press enter header we are able to get only the html right so the HTML, we are, we are i am able to get only the html so sorry header i'm able to get only the html so how can i find this one so the same thing so uh, like the document so instead of using this console.log use console.dir of header now when i press this enter so now you will be able to get an object see this is a whole way of properties for that element you can access it so these are all the elements you can change it so where we can get this style is so at the bottom you will be able to see o p q r s so here this is the style and style dot background color so background color means so here you'll be able to see background color it has been changed to red and also the color also it will be changed to white somewhere it will be here so color also it is changed to white 
so like this we can access these all the properties using the header variable so that is one thing and the another thing what i want to tell you is so we are using document dot get element by id right so this is the header variable so document dot get element by id we are able to get this value and another thing what you need to understand is the return value whatever the return value we are trying to get it so this one returns an element node okay so this the return value of this document dot get element by id is the return value is element node this is called as an element node so you may be having a doubt that what is this element node so we already discussed the tom dom consists of a trees so each one <coughs> dom is a tree and it has a branches and it has a millions of objects called as a nodes so we can call it as an html node a head node a mg node div node so these are called as an element nodes so what is the type of the node so we'll discuss about these nodes and all those things in the further upcoming videos we'll discuss deep about these all dom and all those things so what is this node so how can i know that one is so we have one fancy me me method that is nothing but node type so if you type node type you are able to get one so one means it indicating that it is an element two means it indicates it is an attribute so like this we will be having four or something like that node types so here we are telling the header what is the node type of this header variable is one that means that is an element normally we can also use node name also so what is the name of this one is so normally we can use the div so node name is due so we'll discuss about these nodes and all the things just i am trying to tell you is that the get document dot get element by id returns the element node so that that's it so now we have access the element single element using the id but there is one disadvantages of of this there are uh, two disadvantages of this document dot document dot get element by id so there is two disadvantages one disadvantage is so why whenever you are using id means so in the html page the id value should be unique so the id value should not be duplicated so if we are more than so you should have header id with an id of header only to the one element you can you cannot have more than one element with an id of header or anything so like that so you should maintain id as a unique so that is one thing that is one thing and also another thing is if you want to apply the functionality to the multiple elements means so you cannot use the document got document dot get element by id why because document dot get element by id returns only the one element node only it will return only one element so it cannot return you an array of elements so if you want to apply to a multiple elements the same functionality means we cannot use the document dot get element by id because it will always return the first element so if you are having another 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 element with the same id means so the it will be never captured so these are the two disadvantages which you will be having so whenever you are trying to use the get element by id means you should make sure that in the html document you should have only one element with that with that id you cannot have two elements with the same id name and the another one is <clears throat> and the another disadvantage you will be having is document dot get element by id will return only the single element that is also the first element whenever it is matching if you want to apply the uh, same same functionality to the multiple elements means you cannot use this get element by id why because it returns always single element only so these are the two disadvantages we are having hope you understood about this get element by id if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you